point students so previous class we will discuss about what is weather and what are the elements of weather you know just you recall one second so what is weather it means what so the weather is nothing but the day to day condition in the atmosphere at a particular place it is called weather you know weather means what the day to day condition in the atmosphere day to day condition in the atmosphere at a place is known as called weather and some elements only determine the weather what are the elements determine the weather like the temperature humidity wind speed or rainfall so these are the elements only determine the weather isn't it okay so today we are going to okay, talk about the maximum and minimum temperature maximum and minimum temperature you know the page number 89 the look at the graph given below okay the page number the 70 there also given the one graph you know the page number 70 there also given the one graph you know so this graph okay but this graph show that maximum temperature so this graph showing the the maximum temperature the maximum temperature okay well, so this graph showing the maximum temperature in shillong in meghalaya shillong in meghalaya when the third august you know the third august 2006 to 9 um, okay so this is the one of the record that uh, maximum temperature the graph shows the maximum temperature in the third of the third august the 2006 to 9 like that one week report okay well where in the shillong in meghalaya in shillong in meghalaya i just mentioned it so which state getting heavy rain the state of meghalaya only get the heavy rain in india okay well so that graph showing that various temperature in the one week from the 3 to 9 days you know so they will collect the various temperature okay well. for example the date 3 8 6 you know the maximum temperature the 26.0 degree celsius okay and fourth and 23.5 degree celsius and 9 24.4 degree celsius so the temperature will be changing every day the temperature will be changing every day okay well as is clear in from the weather report the maximum and minimum temperature recorded in every day so first we uh, who prepared the who collected weather report already you know the meteorological department you know so that department collecting that every day okay well that department will collect the every day report for the weather so that department will collect the, the maximum and the minimum temperature the maximum and minimum temperature okay well so the how will you find out the maximum and minimum temperature how will you find out the maximum and minimum temperature so we have used one of the uh, special instrument that is called the uh, thermometer that is called what the thermometer you know the how will you calculate the maximum is one of the instrument that instrument name is what is a thermometer thermometers what is the name of the instrument the thermometer is one of the instrument so this instrument can used to for can used to find out the maximum and minimum temperature okay well, maximum and minimum temperatures this thermometer is known as called the maximum and minimum thermometer so this is known as called what that maximum and minimum thermometer so that is called that maximum and minimum the maximum and minimum thermometer 
So the maximum and minimum temperature will be collected. But the one day, you know, we will collect that report of the temperature in one day. How do you uh, collect the report with the help of the thermometer? So this is one of the instrument. So this instrument is help for us because of we can use it to find out the temperature per day. Okay, wow. So that is called the maximum and minimum temperature. That is called what? The maximum and minimum temperature. Okay, wow. And next one. So when do you feel in the maximum temperature and when do you feel the minimum temperature? You know, when do you feel the maximum temperature and when do you feel the minimum temperature? So the normally we will feel, you know, when will occur that maximum temperature? You know, the maximum temperature, the maximum temperature. So when will you feel that maximum temperature? We feel only in the afternoon. Okay, ba. So after the twelve o'clock or one o'clock, we will feel so hot. Okay, ba. So after twelve o'clock, we will feel that maximum temperature. And when will you feel that minimum temperature? So when will you feel that minimum temperature? You know, the early morning. You know, the early morning we will feel that. Minimum temperature. Okay, ma. Because of so early morning only, the we saw the sunlight. Okay, ma. So that time we will feel the very the low temperature only during the uh, early morning time. So when will you feel that maximum temperature? The afternoon. And when will you feel the minimum temperature? The early morning. Okay, ma. We will feel that early morning. Okay, ma. And can you guess? You know, during the summer time, we will feel is here. Miserable in the dark or noon. That miserable mean, means like that unhappy during the dark or noon. Why we are not feel? You know why we are feel that uncomfortable in summer time during that afternoon period. Because of during the summer in afternoon we will feel so hot. So that way we will not feel uh, very happy. Okay, ma. And when we are feel very happy. You know that early morning, okay, ma. So that time we will feel the very happy, okay, ma. And another one question I ask, another one question. So what is the main reason? How did that weather change? You know how did that weather change, okay, ma. So that is your main important question, you know. And next one, the first thing, you know, how do you change the weather? You know all the changes. Occur only in the sun. Okay, wow. So the how is it possible? The sun only can change the weather conditions in the atmosphere. Okay, wow. The sun only can determine the weather conditions in the atmosphere. Okay, wow. All changes in the weather are caused. All the changes in the weather caused by the sun. Caused by the sun. Okay, wow. The sun is a head of in our solar system. The sun is in our, the sun is a head of in our, head of in our solar system. Okay, so it is a huge and a, a spherical shape. Okay, was huge and a spherical shape. Okay, so the sun is located in the center of the solar family. So the sun uh, around it. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, you know. So these are the eight planets. Is around the sun. Which one? The sun is the the center and head of the solar family. So that's why we are saying the sun is the primary source. You know, sun is the primary source of energy. Is the primary source of energy. Which one? The sun is the primary source of energy. Okay, ma. The sun is reflected heat and light. The sun is reflected and emit the heat and light. The earth is receive the heat and light from the sun. Okay, ma. The sun is reflected and emit the heat and light. Okay, ma. The earth is absorb the light and heat from the sun. 
ओके बा सो एनर्जी अब्सोर्ब्ड एंड रिफ्लेक्टेड बाय द अर्थ सरफेस ओशन एंड द एटमॉस्फेयर ओके बा इफ यू फील द अर्थ एंड ओशन साइड यू फील सो कूल ओके बा दैट इज अ मॉडरेट क्लाइमेट इफ यू आर लिविंग इन डेजर्ट साइड इफ यू फील सो हॉट बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट हाई टेंपरेचर you know if you if you are living in the forest which means if you feel like the moderate climate like hot or wet okay ba so that is the natural weather conditions in that atmosphere okay ba for example we are surrounded in desert region how do you feel you definitely feel so hot because there is the no rainfall there is the no water on the or the very little water only is available and full and full surround the sand region so that's why we feel so hot for uh, we will survive in the jammu and kashmir in some other places you know definitely you feel uh, very cool because of we will survive in the jammu and kashmir so that condition is always is very cool okay ma and what about and uh, what about the times of sunset and sunrise you know that every day you know so that is the day to day process okay ma it is a day to day process you know the sunrise and sunset you know what about the time of sunset and sunrise you know that winter is become dark early in the early and you are do not get play more time you know the when we start the sunrise you know that early morning okay ma when we start the sunset and the evening okay ma so that is your constant that is the no change in our atmosphere in our life okay ma day sunrise and sunset is is a natural phenomena okay ma so and during the winter time how do you feel you feel that uh, during the winter time is uh, shorter days you know the winter time how do you feel the days are shorter in the summer days are shorter in the summer days are shorter in the summer okay ba winter time you feel sicker mena do irritate okay ba and summer la sicker ma irritate the longer in days okay ba so that is about the maximum and minimum temperature okay and the next sub topic the climate so the next sub topic the next one climate so the already you know already we will discuss about the previous class we will discuss about the weather you know so the climate means is nothing but the climate is the nothing but so the who prepared that report weather and climate report the who prepared that weather report the meteorological department every day they will prepare they will collect that weather report in the atmosphere okay ba so the climate means nothing but the average weather pattern the average weather pattern taken a long period of time you know climate means nothing but the average the average the weather pattern the average the average weather pattern over a long time over a long time is for the climate you know the climate is depending upon the weather okay ma so the climate means nothing but the average weather pattern the average weather pattern taken okay ma the average weather pattern taken over taken over a long time or long period that is called as climate for example the five years or 10 years or 20 years or 30 or 40 or 100 okay ma wow. so that the climate must be occur in the long period that is not the short period okay ma wow. so the climate is nothing 
remember the average weather pattern. The average weather pattern taken over a long time or long period. That is called the average. For example, the more than ten years, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, hundred years ago. So that is a time. So the time is occurred in the long period. The time is occurred in the long period. That is not the short period. The time is occurred in the long period. So that is about the climate. So the climate is nothing but the average weather pattern taken over a long period of time. That is called the climate. That is called what? Climate. The climate it is occur only in the long period. The climate is occur only in the long period. Okay, ma'am. If we find the temperature of a place in high most of time, you know how will you determine the climate? You know the how will you the How will you determine the climate? How will you determine the climate? So, for example, you know we will prepare the uh, some places. For example, the Rajasthan, you know the whole year is we feel so hot. So that means what? So that place is having the high temperature. So that's why we are saying what? So the temp the Rajasthan, the the Rajasthan is the so hottest place. How do you feel in the? Depending upon the temperature, okay, boy. And that uh, next place, you know, in some other places we feel so cool or wet, okay, boy. So how, how do you say? So that place is very cool place, okay, boy. So how do you say that place is so so hot and that place is so weather? So that one is depending upon the climate condition. So how do you say? So that one is depending upon the climate condition.